No, this way. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm successful on the initial, uh, multiple. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Overwhelmed. Man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, if he's coming in and won, uh, I have a pretty high success rate. Zero percent success rate when he's allowed multiple attacks at interception. Got some superficial here, nothing that I felt like dig. Got control, and I think from there uh, I feel comfortable working. Right, right, right. I got two, two in the chest. Right, right. Before I was able to get it down and down. Not bad. Right on, brother. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, man. All right, so what did I learn from that experience? I learned that defense is for suckers, that you cannot simply intercept multiple knife attacks coming at you. That was stressful for me, but that is nowhere near the real stress of having a live blade with an aggressive attacker coming at you. So intercepting one lunge, it's possible, but multiple aggressive stabs and slashes with intent, that is a recipe for disaster if you think that you can simply intercept that. Defense is for suckers. However, when I tried to simply control the weapon bearing limb without first intercepting or softening up the target, that was also a recipe for disaster for me. While I got control, twice I controlled the weapon bearing limb with the knife in my chest. No good. It is likely that it is a combination of momentary interception followed by immediate control that will enhance your survivability. I also want to make note that this was real aggressive, this was live energy, and I think it's difficult to learn from that. I think it's easier to convince people with that kind, because we often uh, read commentary that says, oh, try that with live energy or with aggression. We do do these things, it's just that these kinds of videos aren't necessarily conducive to learning, they may be conducive to convincing, and we're not trying to convince you by making videos. We're trying to convince you and to teach you by inspiring you to get out there and try it yourself. So if you know anybody who has misconceptions about what their magical intercepting fist can do in a life and death situation, please share this video with them. I am a complete rookie, but I'm willing to throw myself out there and I'm gonna do more of these experiments often based on your commentary. So please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you thought of this video. Please continue to support, follow, like, share Aperture because it is, it is your participation that allows us to continue what we're doing. Humbly, thank you so much uh, for even allowing me to present um, my curiosities and my explorations with you. So for that, I bow to you and I will see you next time.